a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello everyone, welcome back to my wonderful channel, Reality Latest Gist. I see they're giving a back-to-back -back update and information. I see they're hot. So if today is your first time watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share. But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. The headlines. My wonderful people, the APC of Edo State has accused the Edo government of obstructing transition processes hey hey my people don't be so well out. but before i will bring the main story to you guys i would like to welcome all my amazing subscribers and viewers i thank you all especially for joining us on to the wonderful news so guys let's dive into the main gist the apc transition committee said that the non-presentation of necessary documents by the state government will hinder a smooth transition process. <laughs> but people, this statement was after their meeting on Wednesday. So the secretary to the APC transition committee, Patrick Ikelare, said that the situation would also create a barrier to the work of the APC committee, the way that they say, and because PDP are not complying to what they are demanding for. <laughs> but people, you don't say it. You guys can remember that. On Wednesday, when the Edo State Government accuses the incoming government and members of the All Progressive Congress Transition Committee of raising false alarm that Governor Godwin Basiki led PDP government has not provided them with the necessary documents for the function. So a member of the Joint Transition Committee and the State Commissioner for Communication and Orientation, Chris Nikari, debunked the claim. So he said that APC Transition Committee, led by Dr. Pius Odubo, has not shown readiness to ensure a smooth transition. <laughs> so he said they should not accuse PDP of not complying to their document because they have alleged that they refused to attend the committee meeting because of the document that they demanded from PDP that they didn't present to them. So Chris Nikari disclosed this to the newsmen shortly after the Wednesday section at the Joint Odigeo Yegu Public Service Academy, venue for the Edo State Joint Transition Committee meeting, where he claimed they have provided documentation in digital form. But the APC committee members insisted on hard copy documents, which they have also provided for them. So, my brother, the matter can be, can be like, say, <laughs> complication, they come out from different angles. But well, Chris Nikari did not relent. He went ahead to tell journalists that the Edo State Government Transition Committee members. We continue to come for meeting until October 30th to provide information the APC Transition Committee requires or not, as long as they are within the Transition Committee mandate. Noting that demanding for hard copy documents meant for only Governor elect Mondo Bobolo, and the Chief Executive of the State Governor Godwin Obaseke is impossible. They cannot provide that. So now, my people, according to the statement the APC released yesterday, they say that the outgoing PDP administration of Governor Godwin Obaseke in Edo State has not presented the necessary document that will enable a smooth transition process. And it is a situation that has hindered their work as an APC transition committee. So in the light of all this, the APC Transition Committee, led by the former Deputy Governor of Edo State, Pyros Odubo, as chairman, wishes to clarify some of the false claims and untruths that has been put out to the public domain by officials of the state government, overtly or covertly. So, he said it is on the record that the inaugural meeting of the APC Transition Committee with the outgoing government team was held on Friday, 18 October 24, at the John Odige Onyegu Public Service Academy in Benin City. So he said, despite the very cordial atmosphere of mutuality and robust engagement that characterized the inaugural meeting, so he said information from the government team tried to scandalize the APC Transition Committee with false claim that they were asking for sitting allowances and that their request for hard copies was because members of the APC committee were not tech savvy. <laughs> so they find this false claim very annoying, underwhelming, insulting, in fact, barbaric. And Payas Odubo is saying that this is completely misleading because nothing such was discussed or raised during and after their plenary. Similarly, at the meeting, he said the APC Transition Committee stated unequivocally that document to be submitted should be in soft and hard copy for ease of reference. Stated that the position was agreed upon both teams and the state government team gave assurance that those documents will be submitted to the APC Transition team before the following meeting that was scheduled for Monday 21st, October 2024. 
So the APC transfer team wrote officially on the 18th of October to the government team detailing what to provide. Despite assurance from the government team, the two sets of documents sent so far are scanty. <laughs> And with respect to expected details covering the scope of the information sought. So for the avoidance of doubt and clarity of purpose, items requested in the letter are all assets and liability, all Edo state assets located outside and state, detailed report of the all federation account allocation committee, and internally generated revenue report 2020 date, details report of the derivation fund to the state 2020 date, all maturing legal obligation from 2020 to date which include all contracts pending or ongoing total indebtedness local and foreign from 2020 to date including bond and treasury bill all approved contracts by the state government from 2020 to date and the size number and structure of all media departments and agencies including human resources records data on public civil servants and their roles which should also include achievements and gap if any to date <laughs> they say others are all annual financial audit reports published and unpublished a report of 2020 appropriation and performance to date including the reverse budget which should also include the current media term expenditure framework or public private partnership arrangements and memorandum of understanding or state backed initiative and fiscal treasury instruments such as treasury bill and all assets sold by the states between 2020 to date they also demanded for bank balances across all financial institutions all programs being managed by non-state actors total monthly personnel costs or federal reform existing partnership with development partners and those ones comprises of the credit grants and s slash technical assistance so existing arrangements with any federal agencies they are the things they are demanded not only that my people all laws passed or amended between 2020 dates they demanded for that one payroll structures slash current wage bill including remuneration of consultants a report of the current technology deployed by the state and nature of partnership and any other relevant information that will be useful to the incoming administration so they wish to put on record that a status report is expected to cover all headings and subheadings in the governance process especially the details of the financial commitment on the various programs projects and responsibilities of the government because they said the incoming government the people of Edo state and the taxpayers deserve to know the status of affairs so they have not constituted themselves into a pro panel the only request for information and documents and that document should not be seen as fishy for trouble or asking for too much <laughs> to pdp because all these are in conformity with international and best practice so they wish to state without any fear of contradiction that the state government team seems to be invasive and trying strenuously to shift the focus from the essence of transition so they are of the considered opinion that in line with the seamless transition initiative the government should be open and transparent enough to avail them all the documents they require to make the assignment easy without raising air about their good intentions. So the idea of trying to blackmail the APC Transition Committee is in bad taste and most unfortunate. The same PDP bear in mind say the APC Transition Committee is populated by professionals and persons of high standards under the leadership of Udubo. So this job must be done and the earlier the government team does the needful towards a seamless transition, the better for them. <laughs> because despite the setback and deliberate slow response from the government team, the APC transition team has been working carelessly to complete the assignment in line with their term of reference. So they will not bow to blackmail, insults, ridicule, name calling and deliberate ploy to mislead the public from PDP. So they wish to use this opportunity to call on all well-meaning members of the public to disregard the tissues of lies and misinformation by the outgoing government of Edo State. Hey, my people don't be small buzzwords. So I guess I would like to know what you think about this matter in our comment section. We would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us.